two guests in the studio with me this morning. And first off, we say good morning to Richard Holloway. Hi, Richard. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Doing All right. really good. It's good morning. And you brought along a guest with I you. I brought my driver. I'm actually legally blind, the guy that's going to captain my bike, my nephew, Aaron Matthews. Hi, Aaron. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Engaging on what is referred to as a pedal for metals. Is that right? And this yeah. is a huge bike race. This is actually not a race, but uh, it's event. a journey. It's yeah. a journey. It's the first step. We're I'm riding a tandem bike. Aaron's captaining my bike. We're raising money for Special Olympics. We're going to go around Georgian Bay in eight days. It's from about 650 kilometers. Excellent. Kilometers. So you're leaving from Wasaga Beach yeah, on June fourteenth. June fourteenth. Departing from where in, in Wasaga Beach? Probably the main beach. Mm -hmm. Main beach. We're going to dip the tire, kind of do a you know a little ceremony, and mm -hmm. then we're going to kick it and go for it. Right, and all the way up to uh, Tobol. So what did you think about that, uh, Aaron, when he laid that on you? Well, when Richard asked me about it, I thought it was a great idea, and then I was kind of... At first, I wasn't really sure about that, I thought, but I thought it would be a great idea. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, to raise money for something, a good cause at least. And uh, not only would it be a really good workout, and it, it, the experience would be amazing. Mm -hmm. And while, you know, going on this tour, I guess, right? Um, you you have all these, like, you know, the, what you're raising money for is just, it's just great. Right. And this is the precursor to something really big, is yeah, it not? Yeah. This is the first step. Next year, our goal, we're going to ride a recumbent tandem and a standard. We're going to take two bikes with our recumbent tandem. We're going to go from St. John's, Newfoundland, right to Victoria. Oh. Now, uh, why Special Olympics uh, this year? Because you're involved behind the scenes, aren't you? Yeah, I, I actually have coached swimming in the past, but I'm now coaching basketball. And I just feel, I have friends, I have guys that have gone to China with it, and they, they had, we had more money, more people could go, more people could, even at a regional level, mm -hmm. they could compete, they could go to tournaments. So, you know, you get to rent pools, uh, you get to rent the buses, you get the gymnasiums, it's an, it's an all good. And you know what, they're such positive individuals, the athletes, and you know, you want to make a difference. And when you, I've been called many things. So I've been called coach and someone looking up at you and saying, can I go in coach? And you know, even though you're winning the game and you know the guy might not make a shot, just the energy that they put on the floor, it's, it's a reason to live. You know, it's why you volunteer. All right. And uh, it says here uh, on some notes that I made quickly. When I was talking to you the other day, you're a wildlife photographer? Yeah, I, I actually use camera. I only have 6% sight. Mm -hmm. I have tunnel vision and I use my, uh, my cameras to see with. So our ride, I'm looking at getting a digital telephoto for the ride, a smaller camera than what I'm used to using. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping we're going to build a calendar from this ride to nice. raise money for the next ride. Perfect. Which I want to take shots. Like the sea, next year's deal will be the sea from Shining Sea. Mm -hmm. You're a marathon runner. An what accomplished have, one, yeah. What, what, what have you done? 17 fulls. Uh, I, and I'm not, I'm not built, for the people that are out there listening, uh, I'm built like a tank. I'm 6'1", <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm you know, 250, and even the Kenyans have come up and asked me if I was really going to go the whole distance in, <laughs> yeah, in, the, in New York City. <laughs> and right. they asked me once how much I weighed, and I, and I told them, and they said, they came back and after thought about it for a while, they told me I weighed as much as their family. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not very aerodynamic, so Especially everybody... On the bike. Yeah. Well, see, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you made it, obviously, yeah, through all, these marathons. Yeah, 17 holes, four, uh, 15 halves, and almost, uh, just under six years. 32,000 kilometers so running. So riding the bike is a joy. Mm -hmm. You know, and my heart rate doesn't go as high as I did when I ran. Right. You love to be involved in the communities, obviously, because I understand you're president of the Brampton Progress yep, Club. Is yep. that right? I am. Yes, I am. Yep. And you're connected with Big Brothers as well. I'm a Big Brother, too, yeah. What do you I'm do in your mentor. spare time, for Pete's sake? Uh, <laughs> bikes. Yeah, I'm a family guy. You know, I try yeah. and be a family guy. You know, I enjoy my my wife and I try and get out and do as much. Anna, she's very supportive. She's like the the support in the back. You know, she tells me, you know, helps me out with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and I also volunteer at the Y in the Strong Kids campaign. Like I, I with Progress, with the support of Progress, we've been able to give my, in my area twenty seven hundred dollars already. So the Progress Club actually in this area, John is supporting. The Collingwood Club is already on board with the ride. Perfect. Yeah, yeah it's great. And um, Georgian. Bay uh, Select, uh, my cousin's company, um, Dave and Laura, they're supporting us with the outline of the mapping and the satelliting. It's it's really amazing when you go to someone mm -hmm. who knows what they're doing. They can help me. Oh, for sure. Know? Yeah, yeah. It's all when, did, when did you start this exercise? Uh, 
Uh, it, it's, it all got started one night at convention. Uh, somebody told me a story about a guy that rode his motorcycle, was going to ride his motorcycle for Special Olympics across the country. Right. And his, his brand new bike died in Winnipeg. Oh. And somebody said, you know, we just need to find the right guy that will ride a bike across the country. Somebody's, and they, one guy looked at me and go, oh, all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah, I can run a man. <laughs> you know, if he can right. run 32,000 kilometers, maybe he can ride 8,000 mm-hmm. kilometers. And, right. and I think that little, that was just a little start. A little light came on. And, and I want, I've always wanted to photograph our country. We have such a huge huge, beautiful country, and, you know, and the photos do make a difference in people's lives when they look at them, and if every time I take a picture and I sell one, a series, I donate one to somebody. So it's all good. It's a win-win. Mm-hmm. Quite an inspiration, right, Eric? No, oh, for sure. This guy? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so it's, 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 it's overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. All right. As far as pledge sheets, then, um, are they out now? The pledge sheets, plan? athletes, the local region, uh, region 4, region 6, and region 9, all have pledge sheets. So anybody who wants to support a, a pledge, if they know a Special Olympics athlete, or they can contact Special Olympics and give and donate money, and the money stays at a regional level. It's not going provincially. It's not going national. Mm-hmm. Uh, the money, it stays on the teams that raise the money. So there are guys out there that are probably raising the money for warm-up suits. You know, everybody, the best thing about Special O is everybody's a part of a family. And, and right. the, the bigger you build, the better you build, and, you know, and the stronger your community becomes. Exactly. Now, they, how far do you figure you can cover uh, in a given day on this particular? This r- Our longest day is 96 kilometers, mm-hmm. which um, seems like a long way. But when you're cruising on the bike, we cruise around 26 kilometers to 28 kilometers. We've been over 40. But, yeah, over 40? We, yeah, we've been over 40, but the Mr. Need for Speed here, uh, Aaron's, Aaron's legs of steel here, so he, yeah. we, we had to get there once. So we, yeah. we've, we, on, I, don't, I don't get to see the speedometer. He keeps, a, he keeps the three major things. He gets to steer, the speedometer, and the bell. I don't get to ring the bell. I don't get to see the speedometer. So, you know, I just get to believe, that's all. All right. These are... Just the bikes, just off the off the average store shelf here. They, these are special bikes. Tell the, us a little bit bu- about this bike. The bike that we're riding, I was very fortunate. Uh, good friends of mine, the Herdmans, um, Jeff and Elizabeth. She's actually blocked. And uh, it's a Cannondale tandem, the bike that we're riding. And when he heard I was doing a fundraiser and helping people, he gave me a, a sweet deal. On it. It's like mm-hmm. a $5,000 bike, $4,500. And he gave it to me. We were able to raise the money in pledges. I ran a 5K on St. Patrick's Day in a green tutu. So the money from that. And you haven't seen anything. In a what? In a green tutu. You haven't seen anything until you've seen a guy my size in a tutu. People paid not to see it. You know? But it, it made a difference. It raised the money. The bike The bike. That we're hoping to use for next year's the recumbent is a bike that's built in Australia and it'll climb any hill. It's got 54 gears and uh, I guess my one friend, if anything, made me go towards recumbent. He's a prostate specialist and he said, Richard, if you ride a normal bike across the country, you're going to become my best customer. So I, <laughs> I looked at recumbents and I'd been on one mm-hmm. and it's just so sweet. It's so powerful. You know, it's, they're the fastest bikes in the world. They're, they're height-wise, they're the height of a Corvette. Mm-hmm. So you're not the wind resistance is a lot less, right? You know, and I I have a problem. I don't have any depth perception, and I have no bow. My equilibrium is poor. So on the bike, it, it's I I'm always leery about the tilting and the tipping. Mm-hmm. Where on the recumbent, I'll be able to just power it, right? You know, by then I'm hoping I'll just be like st- legs will be like steel. All right. Do you stop uh, in the, some specific spots along the way where people maybe could come up to you right there and say, Hey, here's here's ten bucks. Uh, Actually, here, we or? we will be stopping in in the major cities. Uh, uh, like Sudbury, Perry Sound. We're staying one night in Brit. We're staying yeah. one night for money here in Espanola. Mm-hmm. But it, there's an opportunity. They can get, they can get in touch with me if they want, you know, through Special O. Or some people want to sponsor corporately. We've been fortunate. Petro Canada's come on board and a couple other people. Uh, call oh. your Zinders. So if uh, contact us, you can contact or email me. My emails, you know, Richard Holloway at Simpatico.ca. Mm-hmm. You know, Richard. Dot Holloway. Holloway. At simpatico.ca. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. So it's all set and ready to go on uh, June the 14th. And uh, uh, you mentioned dipping the tire <laughs> in the water down at the at the beach there. Yes. And put the back one in the in the water uh, October yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> knowing, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> knowing Aaron, he'll probably dip me in, you know. <laughs> right. Just keep driving right on, right, Aaron? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, give him a thrill. Yeah. Yeah, we've right. we've realized our speed. We were we even passed a duck the other day. You know that's <laughs> that's when you know you've got good speed. We pulled up. I've never seen a duck looking at you eye to eye. 
<laughs> so any Special Olympian uh, would be able to help you out here? With the, special Olympians, the, the good thing about the Special Olympians, they're able to help themselves. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Mm-hmm. That if they take a pledge sheet and they go knock on doors, say they go talk to their family, that money, they're allowed to keep it for their team. Perfect. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm doing this to help the, the, the other guy, you mm-hmm. know, the, the person who has an opportunity to win medals, mm-hmm. you know, like I told you earlier before we went on the air, uh, I have a very dear friend, Jason Walker went to China and he, with his, the support of progress, he was able to go to the provincials, win at the provincials, win at the nationals and go to China. Excellent. You know, the Olympics is coming, you know, in 2010, they're going to come and, and we want to get as many athletes supporting our country as we can. I'm a very patriotic person. And I believe mm-hmm. if you believe you achieve and if you achieve, you succeed. 